Hello, hello, everybody. So many times God places us in a position at the right time and the right place so that we could be the blessing that someone else is praying for. That So we could be the miracle that someone else is praying for. Um, he says, be alert. Because a lot of times he'll give you like little promptings, okay? Just just this little prompting in your spirit. And, um, and it's those little promptings from the Holy Spirit that we need to follow to be able to be these blessings for, for these other people. Um, he says that as you're a blessing to someone else, it's also going to be a blessing to you. God is very multifaceted. And um, not only, he says, not only is it a blessing for that person, but he multiplies it. And um, it blesses people that you're not even aware of. So he gave me an illustration, okay? And I'm holding, I'm holding this thing with my phone so it is a little bit wobbly I I apologize um, he gave me this illustration and basically let's say you're standing in line at the grocery store okay there's a cashier and then there is a woman with her child in front of you and you know the the cashier is having a bad day you're unaware of it but the cashier is having a bad day thinking how, you know, the world sucks and people suck. And the woman in front of you is stressed out because she has a young child. Um, she, the cashier rings up everything, but she doesn't have enough money for it. So she puts the sugar cereal that she was getting for her child back, okay? And God gives you a little prompting. And you decide to listen to that prompting and you say, ma'am, I will buy that cereal for you. So not only have you blessed her, you've also blessed her kid because the kid was going to go without the cereal that he wanted. You've also re restored uh, the cashier's hope in humanity, okay? She was having a bad day. She was thinking the world sucks and the people suck. But your kindness that you showed to the woman made her think, and the Holy Spirit started um, started stirring something inside of the cashier, right? And so her, her night is automatically better um, because of the kindness that you showed. Okay, when she gets off work, she goes to McDonald's and she decides to pay it forward. So she tells the cashier, I want to pay for the guy's behind me meal. Okay, the guy behind her um, has him and his three children in the car with him. So it ends up being a total of 20 some dollars, right? Um, so... Uh, she, she goes ahead and pays, pays for the meal and, you know, goes on with her night, right? Well, he pulls up and the cashier at McDonald's tells him that his meal is already paid for. He's thankful because the kids in the back are throwing a fit and he's stressed out. So it has blessed him, right? He gets home with the food and realizes that he had left his debit card in his other pants pocket all along. So right then, he thanks God. He says, God, that I know that was you. It was only by your grace that this meal got paid for because I didn't have my card with me. And the chain goes on, okay? So you get home. And just from paying that, that what, two fifty or $3 that that box of cereal cost for that woman, you have blessed one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight people. And the Lord says to you, well done, my good and faithful servant. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Because you listened to the prompting that he gave you. And the Lord is multifaceted. So he made it, he, he multiplied it, and he blessed many. And so I asked him for a verse for this. And um, <laughs> then uh, the Bible app verse pops up, okay, my, the, the verse of the day. And it was um, Galatians 6, 9. And it says, let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially those who belong to the family of believers. God says, be aware. Be aware of your surroundings. Um, be aware of his gentle voice that prompts you to be that special blessing that someone else needs. Because something small to you can turn into something huge for someone else. And the Lord multiplies it for different people. I love you guys. And he, and thank you, Jesus. He says that sometimes, sometimes the blessing that you are wanting is hidden inside that act of generosity that you um, provide to someone else. Sometimes that blessing that you're waiting for is hidden inside that act. I love you guys. Have a good night. I'm back. Just one more thought. Okay, the Lord wanted me to come back on here and add something to this. Um, he says, don't let your feelings of embarrassment keep you from, um, keep you from obeying his little promptings. Because, you know, it's, it, 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 it takes a lot of courage to step up and, and approach a stranger, okay? It takes a lot of courage to um, help someone who you don't know. Um, he says that, that don't let your, your feelings of being embarrassed or um, uncomfortable or whatnot uh, get in the way of you being a blessing for someone else. Um, if they turn you down, they turn you down, but, um, but the Lord knows your heart in it. So even if they do turn you down, the Lord knows your mo motivation in your heart and, and they, they will be grateful. So, um, he just wanted me to come on here and encourage you guys, uh, you know, even if it feels uncomfortable, s take that little step, take that little step of faith to help someone if you have the ability to do so and and if the lord is prompting you to do so okay love you guys